While many students struggle with self-image and self-worth, a new program is challenging them to see gray. Welcome to Action News at 530. I'm Christian Brown. And I'm Sean Hegarty in for Lee Conklin. The I See Gray movement was spearheaded by Monroe Public School graduates. The goal is to replace stereotypes with compassion and respect. You guys are pioneers. I'm passionate about because I love you guys. Erin Lavender is a community activist and a Monroe High School graduate. After the chaos in Ferguson, Missouri, he wanted to start a movement that could unify his community and challenge stereotypes. We don't want Ferguson to happen here in Monroe. So I got with the mayor and the police chief and some local friends and we put together a group called CLASS and um, everything got started. CLASS stands for Communities Learning About Shared Space. Their first mission was to get inside classrooms in Monroe Public Schools to encourage students to see gray. Well, one thing I always tell them is, is, is I, I'm not blind. I can see. I can see you have a gray shirt or you have a red shirt. We can see our differences. We can see different colors, different genders. So when I say I see gray, it's not through my eyes. It's through my heart. These Orchard Center High School students know how it feels to be mistreated, judged, and put in a box. And when middle school came around, I was in my awkward stage. And I didn't have many friends. People thought I was weird. I just felt like I didn't fit in, you know. A lot of kids didn't like me. I mean, I have long hair and a beard. I look like somebody who doesn't do much, but I have a job, I have friends, I'm always out. Um, people just look at me and say, oh, he's a kid that just stays home, doesn't do anything. And that's why they have been empowered by this team to spread the I see gray message to younger students. It's given them a reason to want to become a leader. Given them the goal is to teach kids to ignore color, sexuality, and gender, and focus on the heart. Humanity. It's all about humanity, caring about your fellow brother and sister, caring about each other, loving each other, respecting each other, and being unified as a nation. The IC Gray movement has every intention of taking this message out of Monroe and into communities across the country. They believe in order to build better schools, you must first start with a foundation of pride, respect, and above all, love. And Lavender and the rest of the IC Gray team all graduated from Monroe High School.